Well, the photograph I'm looking at is um, 1933, um, and I'm 13, um, getting ready to leave school, feeling like a young lady, and the dress I am wearing, I can always remember being so proud and taking it home from school. Whether the teacher did half of it, I don't know, but I can remember sitting there sewing, which I don't think has been my best point <laughs> in my life, um, and I don't think I've ever sewn anything since. But I, I look at the dress even now with quite pride to think that I did it. Well, I did some of it. Um, so that's the, my recollection of looking at it. And then, yes, I begin to look, I think, as though I'm about to leave school, because at 14, I left school and my hair then was getting quite more ladylike and I went from straight into hairdressing which the, the second week I was there I was given a perm, tight curls and made to look as I was at least 16. Um, so the memory of sitting having my hair cut in Tranquil Passage by Mr Hacker and then only a, two years later going and being in a ladies salon and having the best advice and treatment for a, a little girl um, was unbelievable. Yes. What, tell us something about the apprenticeship system, Olive. What were you paid and how long were you an apprentice? Oh, it was, I, I actually um, started and I first of all started in the Old Kent Road and it was quite a foreign place to Blackheath, really, really awful. And um, my mother had um, been speaking to actually my boss and he said, well, the training would be better there um, because the shop was busier and this and that. And it was exceptionally hard. I would not like anybody to have any idea that you could be working at nine and nine in the evening. Nine at morning, you'll be working. You'll be in there, and the salon would be quite a number of people. And um, you could still be there, what, half an hour lunch if you was li lucky. Um, you just go through with a cup of tea, or you can go and have five minutes now, they would say. And you come out at eight. In the evening? In the evening. And I got to, I suppose I'd done a year, and the, the glamour of it was going off and I can remember many many nights really crying I wanted to leave I wanted to leave and crying for a long 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 probably months of a night but um, all I would my mother would say it's a trade and it will be good for you and you stop at it but you to be truthful you give up an awful lot of good times because Saturday when it was nine I turned um, Work your mine on a Saturday Yes, night. every Saturday. Your brothers and sister were out. They were, and you came home too tired. So one thing I always wanted to do was dancing, which I never got round to doing because of the hours I worked. Yes, and Bill would just stand outside the shop from because I met him when I was 14, and he'd always be there and always be there to see me home and everything. But um, it was very, very hard, and and it wasn't just me unusual. That would be the average working for any girl. That, and could you see? What was the pay again, Olive? Seven and six a week. Seven six until you finished the apprenticeship. No, as you as you would learn. Say you you got exceptionally good on winding, then you would, because in them days, once they teach you one part, they would put you winding perms. So then you've gone upper step mm. and setting etc and um, you'd go through it but it was very very hard and because really and truly you were earning the money all the while you was yes. being a panties. And and did you then move to the Blackheath area? Yes, and then, then I moved to Catford. To Catford. Mm. And life was a bit easier then was it? Well actually it would have been wonderful because when Roberta's opened um, they did actually come to my mum and said and it was only a hundred pound would you like to come partnership for Olive? Because I was quite good. Well, I was very good. And um, my mum didn't want to. I don't know the circumstances. Maybe she couldn't. But um, otherwise, probably then days, I would have been very comfortably off.
absolutely we are.